Hey folks, Brian here. Today I'm working on the Ponzi2 website and I embedded the YouTube playlist onto the homepage at ponzi2.io. Today I'm going to show you how I did that and also do a little bit of live coding and add more videos to the tutorial section. And on the tutorial section I've got a lot of videos but I'm going to replace these with um, actual YouTube embeds. So let's see how it goes, whether it can be done live. Uh, but when I started researching, I was really trying to integrate this YouTube iframe player API, but I think it has more than what I need. Um, what I'd like to do is just to have a playlist and individual videos um, play within the website. And um, <laughs> You know, I don't need all the fancy player controls that this has. And also, it's very complicated to use if you want multiple players on the same page. Because when the JavaScript is loaded, it only fires one callback. Um, so you've got to set all the JavaScript in one batch. And if you've got multiple players on the page, it's hard to do that. But then I just found it's much easier if you uh, follow this tutorial on the YouTube help page, embedding videos and playlists, and you just copy this iframe code um, into your website. And on the right hand side here, I've got my HTML code, and this is using Go with the standard uh, templating library. And for the home page, you can see that I've defined a new template called YouTube playlist and it takes its one argument um, the playlist ID so let's actually get this uh, site going here of course we haven't started the server so let's press control shift B which runs the um, custom task and let's refresh and hope that the CSS works Hmm. I wonder if we can try this in a new tab. Okay, well, the CSS is broken, but uh, let's pretend it's not broken. I actually had another website, my main website, um, btmura.io. This was developed on localhost 8080, so I think this incognito mode is caching the styles which don't apply <laughs> and applying them to this website. But anyway, let's go to the tutorial section and we can see the list of videos here. And if I go to tutorials.html and the index file, you can see that I've got a bunch of um, YouTube watch links that go to the page. But now let's go back to the index.html, copy this line which executes a template called YouTube playlist, paste it, and refresh. Now we can see that the template that we used on the main home page also works on the tutorials page because it's a template after all and it's meant to be shared. And if we look at this template, here's the YouTube playlist template. I use define and end to define this common piece of code that is meant to be um, used as a separate template. And then you can also see this part here. Double open curly dot and uh, double close um, curly bracket. And this dot means take whatever argument was passed to it and um, paste it in. So the playlist ID was the main argument so it was pasting it in here. So we don't want a playlist now, we just want a single video. So let's change this to video. 
and let's take the video ID here in the link and paste it here. Now, since there's no template yet to find a uh, YouTube video, this shouldn't work. Right, it doesn't work now, which is good. We didn't expect it to work. So now let's define a new template called exactly that, YouTube video. And you start to define, and then let's put an end tag here. Now I've gone to the video that I want to integrate and according to this guide here you can go to share click on embed copy and paste the code and paste it in let's format it a bit here but you can see that some of this code is very similar to the playlist one which I copied from the website but it's also a little different there's allow accelerometer gyroscope and picture in picture so maybe this help article here um, with the playlist example is already out of date let's use alt up to organize these let's fix the end tag there and now near this embed part you can see the video ID is there but that's now an argument to this template so the template can be reused so let's replace this with double open and close curly now let's go back to our development page and refresh. So there you go. Now let's go back to our tutorial section and let's expand to full screen and um, what we're going to do is let's move our cursor over to watch Let's press Control D to select the other instances. Press the right cursor once to get rid of the selection. Shift Home to select the front part. And then let's start typing in the template using multiple cursors. Shift end, delete the excess, and let's get this rid of the duplicate one at the beginning. And now let's refresh and see if the videos are embedded properly. Yep, it looks like they are. Uh, we've got these kind of funny dots here which is part of the bulleted list so let's see if we can remove those two control D let's select template YouTube video use control D again Let's get uh, rid of the unordered list element and let's see what it looks like. Uh, okay, it's not pretty, but this is a live demo, so we've got to keep going. And uh, this maybe it looks okay. Um, let me try one more thing. We'll do template YouTube video again. Use Control D for multiple selectors so we can edit all lines at once. Let's wrap them in divs and see what it looks like. Okay. Well, let's get rid of them. So let's go back and do Control Z. Control Z. And 
and let's try playing one. Hi guys, Hi guys. Brian, Brian here. here. Today, Today I'm, I'm going to show you how to set... Okay, looks like it works. Now let's go to the production site, go to the tutorial section, and to upload this, first I go to the proper folder of the project, and we're going to do a deploy with the G Cloud app deploy. This app, uh, this website is written using the App Engine second generation runtime. Um, no dependency on App Engine except the app.yaml file for some small things. Everything else uses the standard library. Okay, so now it's uploading and now we sit back and wait a little bit. Crack our knuckles and prepare to refresh. So overall you don't need this iframe player API if you want to just embed things. And you can follow this article here, embedding videos and playlists. And I guess you can just use the share link here, which has the embedding code um, always ready for you to paste. There's a privacy enhanced mode. Interesting. So on this site, I include a lot of articles. Well, not a lot, just three, huh? But there's also some videos um, about VS Code and the environment I've set up, getting OpenGL running, everything you need to sort of get a graphical application in OpenGL running for your game or whatever it is. Um, my game just <laughs> has to happens to be um, lines and sticks and trending lines. Um, replace those with your wizards or your trolls or whatever <laughs> um, thing you want to do. So now let's go to the production website and click refresh. And there you go. Here are the um, embedded videos. And so now we've got two templates, right? We've got the YouTube video template, which embeds a single video. And we've got another template that embeds um, a playlist. And I'm going to copy this support link here this support link doesn't appear it's just a comment but I just make it easier for myself if I want to see an updated um, answer or consult this article again so we've got the playlist on the front page and we've got individual videos on the tutorials page so I hope that gives you an idea of how to embed YouTube players really quickly save you some time and also shows you how to use a standard template library um, on a server with the App Engine uh, second generation runtime, uh, Go 1.12. Uh, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.